All right, and down this basement is the embalming room. Turn the lights on. Let's go check this out. Got a gurney right here. There's another gurney. Got a bunch of tools on them. They got a heater going. Mm -hmm. Someone must be coming and checking on this place. Maybe working a bit. Maybe we should be a little quicker here now. Yes, I would think so. I can't believe that heater is actually running. In today's video, we will be taking you inside an abandoned historic funeral home that was closed down to the owner's nefarious behavior. And this is the embalming room. Pretty sure you can plug this light in. This is what I did last time. There we go. Here's the embalming room and this abandoned funeral home that we just got into. Looks the exact same way as it was when we were here a few years ago. This nice blood-stained gown. It's a monster embalming machine right there. Look at that, embalming fluid. Artery fluid. Cavity fluid. Neck restraint, old school metal one. There's the drain right there, grimy. Look at hospital, post-mortem, body bag it says. Wow, look at all these tools. Just chilling and then up here you have even more embalming fluid. Your eye covers. Not sure what that butcher knife is doing in there. So I opened up the bag and it's got a couple of uh, tags, biohazard and contaminated, but then it's got the attached to personal effects bag. And then there's the body bag tag. For uh, it looks like a kit maybe. Gurney here, and the lift over here. Another embalming machine. This one appears to be a little older and more used. There's also some needles right there. And an actual toe tag. It's got the decedent's name on it. Do not ride the lift. So we just made our way inside this abandoned funeral home and it is a good one. As soon as you walk in, you see this grand fireplace and matching grand piano. And let's see if this thing's in tune. Not bad.
You can actually see, I don't know if you guys can really see it in the video, but there's like cracks throughout the whole ceiling. This place is, <clears throat> needs some maintenance work. The historic funeral home dates back to when it was originally built back in 1898 as a colonial designed single family mansion. Although the year is unknown, at some point the historic mansion was converted into a funeral home. In 2004, the owner of the funeral home was arrested and eventually went on to trial for a 1998 rape that he committed against a former employee of his back when he was working at a law firm. Court records and documents show that he showed up at the victim's house unannounced and unexpectedly. Then, after he was led inside the home, he forcibly held her and raped her in a, quote, intentional, non-consensual, and sexually violent matter, end quote. During the proceedings and trial, it also came out that he had inappropriate sexual relationships with two more of his former employees at the law firm. Although the funeral home owner denied most of these allegations against him, he was eventually linked to the rape crime through DNA from his semen stain on the victim's dress. Despite having a good reputation in the local community and having many letters of support from high-ranking city officials, he was convicted and sentenced to jail time. After serving his sentence and being released from jail, the funeral home owner tried to reestablish his funeral home business and redeem his now-scarred name. And although he did perform several funerals over the next few years, business slowly trickled to a halt by 2010. The owner of the funeral home was never able to fully recover after his rape conviction and subsequently the funeral home was permanently closed in 2011. As of 2022, the historic funeral home still sits abandoned. Although upon our last visit to the funeral home, which was pretty recent, it seemed that someone may be trying to do something with it, but we really didn't want to stick around much longer to find out. So for now, only time will tell what happens with this historic funeral home. This room smells so bad. Like, it smells like shit. Like someone took a shit in this room. So there's really not much up here in the house. There's just a bunch of pretty much empty rooms. Kind of just walk through and show you guys real fast. Looks like they started trying to renovate the place and then they obviously stopped. I photographed this back in 2019 and it looked exactly the way it does now two years later so they're definitely not doing work in here anymore. As you can see, they left the power on. A lot of times people ask us, why is the power on and it's not abandoned if they left the power on? And it's, the reason why places do that is because it will decay really fast. 
if they didn't leave the heat on in here during the winter. There's about two feet of snow outside right now. And when I was here about two years ago, none of this little bit of decay that fell from the ceiling was even here. But as time goes on, it starts to destroy these buildings. And what uh, what helps with that happening is when they leave the heat and the air conditioning on so that the building doesn't decay really fast. And that brings us to the end of the Abandoned Historic Funeral Home video. We sure hope that y'all enjoyed this one. For more photos from here and other locations, please check out AbandonedCentral.com. And remember, if you haven't already, please subscribe to Abandoned Central on YouTube so that you don't miss any of the newest videos. Thanks for all the love and support.